in this video I'm going to show what are some really good resources for beginners if you are learning about Linux or maybe Windows security also. But mostly I'll focus on Linux because I am most experienced with that. So uh, let's start. If you go to my club website, uh, I'll put the link in the description, but this is the URL. If you go to resources and cyber patriot, you can see uh, I've put a lot of stuff here and it might be um, a bit confusing. So I think I'll probably uh, edit this page when I have time, but uh, the first thing that I think is really helpful is this training modules. These are on the home page of Cyber Patriot. Or, so if you went to, um, let's see, training materials, and then here. They also have, so they have the training modules here. Uh, that's what I'm looking at right now. And they have uh, Ubuntu some references here. And if you download, uh, these are all actually PowerPoints, I think. Um, so they have some intros into cybersecurity and Cyber Patriot, some VM stuff, Windows and Linux stuff. And I thought it was pretty helpful for when I was looking over the material, I thought that they had a lot of good info in here. so. I totally would recommend going through this if you are a beginner. And then yeah, so explaining what is Linux, what is the kernel, what are the distros, uh, permissions and privileges, the file system, basic commands, sudo, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. And um, I feel like they had more, but maybe they didn't. But it's good, good introductory stuff. So totally look through that if you have time. If you need to learn more commands for cyber, sorry, for Linux, this is some uh, helpful links here. This first one I think is really good if you're a beginner because it's very interactive and. You can kind of go through it step by step, then just reading a lot of stuff at once. So it talks about um, what Linux history, stuff, the distros, and if you're really curious, you can keep <laughs> reading more about these people. Uh, then the command line, uh, you get quizzed and they help you with some exercises here. And there's yeah a lot about packages, users. The users is uh, very helpful for Cyber Patriot, and these files are really important. So I think you guys should uh, read more about them. And um, yeah, so it's really good stuff here. This is um, this is kind of like similar to help and mand commands, but like it's a little different. I don't honestly I don't know if you did vim help it would be the same. Okay, yeah, I so see if you don't want to read the help page or uh the man page either, you can kind of go here. I think it might be a little easier to read. But it's just, it's just like another like cheat sheet on commands. Uh, not as important as the other links, but it's a little, it's kind of neat. Um, this is for Vim. <laughs> you, you probably won't need this if you're a beginner, but uh, it might be helpful later on. This is really a really good website. I really like this website. Uh, it talks about the shell, so this is the shell. And then uh, just like how it works when it starts up, so, um, how the file system works. It goes really in depth into that and shortcuts and whatnot. And it even talks about shell scripting. And I hope that we can 
eventually get to the point where we are writing our own scripts, but yeah, if you have time again, totally read through that. This here is another introductory sort of, uh, it's kind of like a game. And yeah, if you're on a Chromebook or something and you like don't want to open a VM, you can just go here and practice. So you could do, they're asking you to do, what does LS do? And then shows you the contents of a directory. And uh, it's just kind of entertaining more than just reading like through commands but yeah that might that might be of interest to you if you are a beginner and then I have some more stuff here but definitely the modules and the Linux journey is prob and maybe even the the um where was it this website this will probably help you the most for beginners and then f for Windows people, you can look up like Windows hardening. So uh, this is like a really general overview um, of like common security practices. If you're if you're like focusing on Cyber Patriot, it might not. It might be a little tricky, like if you were just following every single step in here. So you just, you want to get like, look over and get an idea of, okay, what might not be secure? What can I try doing? Um, yeah, so don't like exactly follow the hardening guys. Just keep in mind that some of those things are problems. Um, I also have a link to this p playlist of PowerShell videos. So PowerShell is really similar to, um, like how we have been typing commands in the Linux terminal. You can control Windows through this other command prompt. So yeah, PowerShell, you can uh, make scripts and stuff. And this is just a lot of um, just how you can use PowerShell. And they're, they're short videos, so you can just, you know, it's a month of lunches. So yeah, might be helpful. Um, and then, so if you're learning Linux also, I really like this website. It's um, it's a game, uh, and you kind of just have, it's kind of like you are searching, it's, it's a little similar to like a capture the flag, but instead of a flag, you're looking for a password to log into the next level. And pretty much just, uh, it's teaching you how to look through the file system and, um, just just get comfortable with certain commands and there's there's a lot of levels but and there's harder ones but and it's pretty fun I thought and there's a there's a Windows version of it I think here so you can train with uh, PowerShell however I've never done it before I think it, the first one is Sentry okay so you go to um, so the Windows PowerShell, uh, under the wire, it's called under the wire because this one's over the wire, so it's kind of like copying. And then, yeah, so you could just start here. Uh, yep, and same thing. I think you're looking for passwords and connecting to servers. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think is probably most helpful for Cyber Patriot and learning about operating systems right now. Uh, aside from that though, if, I think I, I put a lot of good links on this website. So if you go to this one, um, this GitHub has like a bunch of PDFs of like free programming books. So if you want to like C++ or something, yeah, you can see there's like PDFs or some are still uh, getting put on this website, but so we can go. There's also like websites instead of PDFs, but it's just all a lot of good resources. So you have a PDF here and like some HTML guides, I think. 
yeah, so this is like a a website guide also. There's yeah, there's just a lot and um there's a lot of languages too. And that's pretty uh neat to have there. Uh yeah, so those are the resources that hopefully will help you out and um you can always practice inside of a virtual machine. Uh, I might make videos on how to set this up, but not sure yet. However, uh, yeah, VirtualBox is really good for Windows, Linux, and Mac, so I would maybe go with that one if you can. Or, or VMware works too, but it doesn't work for Mac, so I wouldn't. I would recommend VirtualBox. Uh, and that will be all.